Will there be a time when Africa no longer has to suffer from the actions of the West? You see, from the time the West came in contact with Africa, Africa has been subjected to so many problems including environmental issues. Did you know that the African continent has been experiencing the worst effects of global warming and climate change, despite the fact that it is the least contributor to global warming? And not surprisingly, the West are the biggest contributors to global warming, meaning that they are the cause of global warming and climate change. This unfair situation is the typical dynamic of the relationship between the West and Africa, whereby the West flourish at the expense of the African continent. However, China has just offered a solution to Africa regarding this problem, proving yet again why it's a more dependable ally than the West. But what exactly is this proposal? Let's find out. Although the West has been the traditional partner of Africa, China has been gradually rising to replace the West in the last two decades. During the opening address of the China-Africa Forum last month, China's Commerce Ministry revealed that trade volume between the two sides had climbed 5.5% in the first seven months of this year to $170 billion, marking a new record. In addition to trade, China's loans to the continent have also been on the rise after a significant decline a few years back. All this indicates that China is committed to building significant ties with Africa. Now, during the start of the China-Africa Forum, Chinese President Xi Jinping revealed that his government will provide 46 billion euros in funding for African countries over the next three years, including 27 billion euros in loans, 10 billion euros in development aid, and 9 billion euros in direct investment. He added that this will help to create at least 1 million new jobs in Africa, something that is highly needed for Africa's growing young population. But unlike the previous decade when China focused on huge development projects worth billions, China has decided to do something different this time by focusing on small and beautiful projects. The reason for this is that China is trying to change the narrative given by the West, that its huge development projects in Africa have pushed African countries into debt traps. However, this narrative is fake because despite the huge amounts of China's loans owed by African countries, the West still remains the biggest creditors to Africa. Now at the very heart of China's new strategy is green energy. If you are conversant with global politics, you would have observed that one of the major focuses of countries right now is a transition to green energy. You see, after the discovery of fossil fuels some decades ago, the West and some other big countries capitalized on this discovery to push industrialization in their different countries. This contributed greatly to their current global economic status in the world. But the unfortunate thing is that the African continent is the only region in the world that has still not reaped the fruit of fossil fuels, despite the fact that it has this resource in abundance. This is a result of Western exploitation and the actions of greedy African leaders who never think beyond their pockets. However, the use of fossil fuels over time has resulted in the current global environmental crisis, global warming, and climate change. And unfortunately, again, the African continent is more vulnerable to the effects of global warming and climate change than the West. But now that some African countries are attempting to use fossil fuels to industrialize their countries as the West has done, the West is now pushing for a transition to green energy. This was a bone of contention between developed and developing countries during the last global climate summit held in Paris. You see, it would be much easier for the West to easily transition into green energy because they are already developed and have the needed infrastructure. However, for developing countries in Africa, the transition to green energy will be costly because most African countries do not have the infrastructure and the finance. As you know, the majority of these countries are struggling in debt under bad economic situations. This was why during the last global climate summit, African countries insisted that the transition to green energy should be financed by the West because they have both the financial and infrastructural resources. And during the summit, the West pledged to give $100 billion every year to help developing countries transition to green energy. But the current report revealed that the pledge has not been fulfilled, thereby stalling any plan for a green energy transition plan. However, China has offered a solution to Africa's green energy plan. As we said earlier, green energy is the heart of China's new policy for Africa. And China has offered to help by building infrastructural projects that support green energy. 
According to data from Boston University's Global Development Policy Center, China has granted loans worth about $4.2 billion to eight African countries in 2023, of which around 12% or $500 million was allocated for renewable energy projects. During the China-Africa Forum last month, President Xi revealed that China will implement 30 clean energy and green development projects in Africa. This strategy by China highlights the future China-Africa relationship. According to a Chinese researcher, Christian Gerard Nima, the new China-Africa relationship signifies that Africa will play a very important role in the supply chain for China's green industry and also ensure that its own green energy transition is achieved. Many African countries suffer from an inadequate energy supply, which impairs the development of the economy, especially industry. However, with China's green energy solutions, this will begin to change. Already, the Chinese government and companies have completed several hundred solar, wind, and hydro energy projects in Africa. This is only a fraction of the world's renewable energy capacity, but honestly, the pace of growth is impressive. In 2023, for instance, the installed solar power capacity in Africa increased by 19%. Countries such as Egypt, Morocco, Tunisia, Niger, and Namibia have already announced ambitious energy transition programs, with Chinese solar and wind energy producers seeing new market opportunities. In Kenya, the Export-Import Bank of China has financed East and Central Africa's largest grid-connected solar power plant, the 55-megawatt Garissa Solar Power Plant, built by a Chinese company. With this, it is clear that China has shown more support and interest in Africa's transition to green energy based on mutual benefit than the West. The West wants Africa to transition to green energy, but is unwilling to do what is necessary to ensure that transition. But what's much worse is the fact that the West is willing to achieve this goal without considering the expense for Africa and developing countries. For instance, in a bid to mitigate climate change, the European Union imposed a carbon tariff which means a tax on products produced with fossil fuels as a way to discourage countries from using fossil fuels. However, according to the African Development Bank, this tariff could make Afruca lose $25 billion every year. But does the West care about this? During the China-Africa Forum, the Joint Declaration condemned the European Union's carbon tariff known as the Carbon Border Adjustment Mechanism. It cited CBAM as an example of unilateralism and protectionism, adopted by some developed countries under the pretext of addressing climate change and protecting the environment. Such measures infringe on the right to sustainable development of developing countries, it stated. Now over the next three years, we will likely see a stronger emphasis on renewables projects such as solar, wind, and hydropower, with China increasing investments in infrastructure and providing technical expertise to African countries. The Chinese president's announcement in his keynote that China is ready to launch 30 new clean energy projects in Africa reflects a concrete commitment to expanding the use of green energy in Africa. This could involve diverse initiatives, from local solar and wind projects to regional power grids. Additionally, exploring cooperation on nuclear technology, as mentioned in the action plan, presents an opportunity for Africa to diversify its energy mix, offering a reliable, low-carbon alternative depending on local regulatory environments and political acceptance. This pivot towards renewable energy strengthens China's role as a key partner in Africa's sustainable development and supports global climate goals. The expected developments include increased Chinese investments, technology transfer, capacity building, and potential pilot projects in nuclear energy, all of which would enhance energy security and reduce emissions. This strategic shift aligns with China's international climate commitments, as well as Africa's energy transition needs. According to some experts, the announcement to launch 30 laboratories for clean energy research is notable. This is because, if it is successful, the labs will be poised to contribute to technology and skills transfers in the clean energy sector, something which African leaders have been negotiating with various partners. The fact is that green energy cooperation is in the interest of every country around the globe, and China's cooperation with Africa is what the West should have done in its fight against climate change. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.